Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, I mentioned last episode that uh, this uh, time we'd be going for this upgrade and tower and we will. However, I just realized that, uh, you know, if you remember Bob and the guys, they're environmentalists, uh, they mentioned they would just, uh, they need their team to, cut, to get the research zone. However, I thought it was just a go to X location, apparently not. Uh, the curtain side trailer, which was right in front of their houses, was apparently the research team that we needed to get to the zone. So uh, that kind of sucks. So I'll uh, go ahead and do that, just because it's a quick uh, little errand. We're right here and we're in the exact right truck we need to do thing. I'm trying not to uh, get uh, too distracted by uh, side quests, but uh, again, we do need the, uh, the upgrades for the trucks and some of them are still locked behind the uh, XP requirements. So uh, we will be taking any of these tasks which are, you know, just having to be around us. We'll need to be doing them at some point in the future anyway, so if we're here, might as well do them. Either way, we kind of got most of the upgrades that we cared about from uh, this area. We got the, the engine upgrade to the Fleet Star, we got, I think, the max engine upgrade for the Caterpillar and, more importantly, the other truck. Because while the Fleet Star does have a super engine upgrade, if I'm mistaken, the Pace Star only has a single engine. And uh, that single engine, I don't think, is enough for... Uh, actually using it to haul any kind of cargo over very rough terrain. So we'll probably re re uh, be replacing the Paystar with the BT-17 Royal, which we unlocked, uh, I think, last episode or I think two episodes ago. Either way, uh, part of our Alaskan uh, venture. Uh, the B the 2700 uh, engine is available for the BT-17 and right now the mm, problem, not such a problem but mm, biggest requirement that I'm finding that all I need to do with uh, I need to fulfill my uh, upgrades is indeed raw horsepower I ha already have access to all slash most of the um, tire upgrades, which were like an important part of uh, my early game uh, farming. Well, not farming, but you know, just the progression. I really uh, was uh, took a long time to get to them because they were like level six or something. like um, off-road and um, tires but at this point we're um, I think level 13 or 14 yeah we're level 13 and yeah level 13 I'm gonna be here for a bit but um, we are level 13 which uh, more or less unlocks most of the wheels for everything I think we still have uh, a few wheels sorry tires which we need to unlock which are at level uh, 14 but uh, given the way we're going through Alaska, that shouldn't be too far off. And past that point, it's mostly just uh, engine upgrades for the available trucks. We already have, have unlocked, um, I guess, suspensions where it does matter. But uh, in my experience, uh, 
suspension isn't that huge of a deal. Some trucks even don't need a raised suspension to be able to mount uh, thicker tires. Last episode, I think. Uh, Alaska isn't as scary as I thought it would be. I don't know why I expected Alaska to be a lot more barren and a lot more hardcore than Michigan, but that's not really even turning out to be the case. Not that I'm, uh, that I mind, to be fully honest. did see some um, pretty <laughs> big uh, rigs that you, which we will have to transport in the future in Alaska here uh, something with like a huge ladder or something I don't know I'm excited but also scared to reach that point where we will need to do that I'm still scared of the construction uh, trailer rig that we have to transport once we get back to Michigan Part of the reason why we're actually doing this is just to make sure we have the horsepower to handle the rough terrain because I checked out the route and it's really bad, it's really muddy. And we need uh, a lot of horsepower for it, more than uh, the Fleet Star had initially. If you guys remember, of I think like I don't know, 10 episodes back or something when we did the first, uh, I think episode 40, when we did the first uh, big um, uh, oversized cargo uh, trailer transport move. Well, actually, think the second because the old, old drill was the first. But when we did that, we had issues uh, with power, with uh, our truck even staying on the ground, keeping its wheels on the ground. So uh, that was pretty tough. This is the mode I actually realized that my Fleet Star may need to be not exactly retired, but it needs to clear the terrain up for some bigger brothers. Although the P12, uh, we did get a P16, we recovered it from uh, Drummond Island, uh, and we decided to stick with the P12 because that's the most upgradable path and it was more or less the same thing. But we didn't really have much luck with the P12. I mean, it works fine for hauling loads over road, but at the moment we stuck to like heavier, with, you know, more difficult terrain in terms of geometry, just uh, height and stuff like that. We uh, really, really end up with some uh, issues. I'm kind of hoping that uh, we'll get a better heavy truck here. I don't want to stick with the P12 if I can handle it, if I can help it. Perfect, we'll gather the data and compile a report. Here, this is for you. Thank you for some cash and thank you for the experience. But I guess I have to thank only myself for the experience. So, let's uh, head back to the original plan that we had. We'll quickly pass by the trailer store and get ourselves uh, fueled up and repaired. And then head back down to... Hmm... Yeah, head back down through here, cross all of that, and get this upgrade. I'm not entirely sure what other upgrades are up here, probably, you know, uh, stock uh, suspensions or, or something upgrades. Specific for uh, various uh, vehicles. Because most of the general upgrades we did get, we did get um, the um, what was it, the highway upgrade for the trucks, the 
off-road. We also got the SnowRunner very early on. So I think we at this point we have all the gearboxes unlocked for all the trucks and all the scout trucks. Engine-wise, we think we just need like one or two engines. But uh, yeah, most of the grids still left on the map in Alaska at the very least uh, are for very specific uh, vehicles, kind of the spe advanced special gearbox for the P12. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go back because I didn't mention I want to refuel and uh, I guess repair, but it doesn't really matter. is there to complete in uh, mountain village mountain river mountain river feeling that Alaska will require a lot of um, moving from one central area like uh, you know this map uh, with goods through other areas uh, there's a lot of warehouses here and I've mostly seen like oil rigs and you know, stuff that would require us to do to deliver things to in uh, the first map, North Port. And we haven't uh, yet visited uh, Pedro something, Port Pedro, nor um, White River, White Valley, White Valley, I guess. This is a turning radius. Again, I know this is completely the right, the wrong truck for this area, but the same discussion we had before, the pay star just wasn't really uh, upgraded to a point where I would want it. But I guess I could have, to be honest. But uh, let's be realistic, we have used uh, the hip trucks uh, to haul cargo, to um, recover trailers and vehicles. Uh, so it does uh, seem a lot like force recon <laughs> rather than uh, scouting what we're doing right now. Okay, let's get that upgrade, whatever that upgrade may be. I don't think they even bothered to put. Oh, there we go. I thought they didn't even bother to put a truck down here. Uh, engageable all wheel drive for. Uh, wow, for the Kodiak C70. Wow, really? I uh, forgot about the truck. That was one of the first trucks that we got in the game uh, and we didn't use it. I don't exactly know why, but I didn't think we had any of the upgrades for it. And yeah, the engageable oil drive, which was here so far away in the game, uh, more or less. Um, I guess we can do it like this. Mm, or not? Should we not? Yeah, actually, no, let. Mm. Confused, confused, confused. Whatever, let's go around just because in case there were any upgrades, we don't have to double back. And yeah, this is a truck. Uh, I think the Derringer or Derry something it should be here. 
in Alaska at some at uh, one point. That may be it. And I think that's a uh, heavy truck or heavy duty truck. Anyway, I'm excited to go back to garage and fiddle with some uh, trucks after we uh, we're done with uh, Alaska. I'm kind of hoping that there would be another garage in you know, Pedro Bay or uh, White Valley. I kind of wouldn't want there to only be a single garage in the really far corner of North uh, Northport that involve a lot of shuffling back and forth. I know the game is kind of meant at this point for you not to do that, not to uh, always recover, but uh, still. That's the watchtower. Like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's have a little look. Any upgrades here? Probably not. Uh, we also... Oh, working stiff. It's an actual quest. Okay. And me hoping for free trucks over the place. Okay. Not that even finding one free truck is very realistic, but... I kind of feel that maybe uh, trucks should have been bigger rewards than just you know finding them and recovering them they should have been like i don't know uh, part of a chain maybe finish one of the contracts contract lists and you have the option to import it wow look at that massive mammoth Okay, what do I, uh, what what services do you require from me so I can acquire this uh, beauty? I'm George, the former of the lumber mill. We need help with our workhorse, and by that I mean Caterpillar 745C. It's taken quite a beating over the years. Think you can repair it and get it to the sawmill? Hmm. Hmm. That actually will reward it to me. Interesting. Okay, this doesn't seem at all difficult. To be fair, uh, let's check out. Let's check out what what it requires. V. Uh, okay, can I get any closer? Does it not require me to? Oh yeah, I can't repair it. Can I? Yeah, I can't repair it. I don't have any repair things. Mm. But you know what? I don't need to repair it here. I can totally just uh, yoink it. <laughs> can't I? I can totally just yoink it and deliver it to sawmill and then just go. Mm. There's a service trader here I can totally use to repair it. So yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's grab it. Let's uh, push it all the way to the sawmill. Uh, this will be fun. Uh, let's get it all the way down to sawmill. Drop it down here. Then grab the service trailer and repair it. Not sure what's broken with it specifically, but I guess nothing that can be fixed by uh, a very generic service trailer. Okay, let's... Grab this. You are coming with me. Wow, really? Oh. Me getting stuck with the old wheel, sorry, with the handbrake on again. And that's that's a beautiful truck. I think that's a heavy truck, and if that is indeed the heavy truck that it will be entirely my replacement for the P12. As my dedicated uh, large cargo mover. Okay. 
we don't care. Let's switch over to the max torque gear. Also having decent speed. More or less, uh, the Hilo gear usually is about. Okay, what's the problem here? Uh, I was gonna say the Hilo gear is about as fast as the first auto gear. I'm not sure why, why and on what that got stuck. That got stuck in the exact same spot. What's the problem here? I am not getting it. We just not have enough power for this. Or is it just stuck in something really horrible? It seems like, you know, a rock or something. Okay, it's moving. That's always a good thing. I'm just not certain what's happening here. Is it a matter of pulling power? Okay, you know what? Let's uh... Yeah, sure, this is very deep snow, and I guess that's impeding uh, this going forward a significant bit. But still, this is something really, really silly, maybe pushing it with uh, help. <laughs> okay, let's not climb over it. <laughs>
that got it pushed out. Let's see if we can pull it now. But uh, this is, yeah, turning to be a bigger hassle than I initially thought. I kind of wish I upgraded the engine on this before we try this out, but... Really, yeah, we just do not have the the power to pull this. Do we? Huh. I mean, okay, you know what? Let's just leave this here, we will come back uh, and get that solved. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Uh, White Valley was the thing which was locked, so uh, White Valley, going through White Valley would be a shorter route. Uh, we'll be back for it. We'll be back for it, but right now we just do not have the, the raw horsepower needed to pull it, apparently. That's not even going through the bad section here. Okay, so let's head over to White Valley, if only to unlock it, so we can go through White Valley from North Pole, so we don't have to go all the way around through Mountain River. But yeah, we'll be back for that. The thing is, I just don't wanna... Don't want to... spend like literally an hour inching it ever so closer. I want to come back here with a, a nice hefty truck and get that just sorted out. Maybe with a advanced winch if we unlocked it. That'd be very nice. Either way, let's double check that we have all of the um, upgrades. Yep. Yeah over here, unless there's some hidden in the black, but I don't think so. Okay, this is White Valley, Alaska, USA. Let's have a look here. Wow, this is a pretty huge map. However, uh, on the bright side, uh, the north port uh, exit is exactly here. So going by that, uh, it shouldn't be a huge of a deal for us. We let's uh, be super short. Let's just head through back to north uh, north port, north river, north port. Yeah, let's just head back through the north port through this route. Triple sure that it's uh, unlocked and available. Oh, what's this? The last earthquake left quite an impact on the whole region. Case in point, the old tunnel is now blocked by rubble. I was gearing up to get in touch and ask you for help, but now that you're here. Okay, so we actually need to do something to unlock this route. Okay, so what? Does this need to... Uh, blocked tunnel. Let's go to tasks. Wow, small pipes uh, and concrete blocks. Okay, both of these from there. I think small pipes is a single slot. Hmm. Okay, let's just uh, try and make our way there ever so slowly. 
And actually, let's scout out the main route because it's quite probable that we'll need to haul cargo on uh, that route. For sure, this is something we need to do right now. I'm not sure where we have uh, options to refuel. So I have 160 liters to get this passage uh, unlocked. Hopefully it's a single load of cargo, but it's quite possibly maybe two. I'm not sure about the rest of the pipes. I'm not sure if small pipes are one slot, but I think medium pipes and large pipes are two slots for sure. Because once we have the passage unlocked, we can totally just, uh, I mean, basically, the only way to unlock that is from this side, so there we go. It's something that needs to be done now, so we can finally get back here with the bigger truck, so we can get that caterpillar to be able to get that caterpillar. <laughs> Getting a huge truck always seems like a good option. And I get it. Wow, this is this is pretty bad. Mm, okay, let's hope eventually that this chains back to the warehouse. So we won't have to go via the side river. Okay. Set up here. This looks practicable, I think. There's the hoping. And yeah, it's so important in Alaska to be able to not go through the snow, just stick to this very well worn path. I think almost uh, in reverse to what you do in Michigan. Warehouse to the right. Yes, we will go to the warehouse. You know, I kind of wonder why they didn't put Alaska as the first map you actually are in. I mean, sure, the tutorial does leave you in Alaska. You, you don't have to stick to Michigan. But, uh, hmm. I mean, for sure, some of the challenges in Alaska kind of. I'm, I'm not sure I could have done as successful in Alaska as I did now if I would have started here with my trucks. Okay, let's pick up this quest over here. Oh, we have a fuel tanker. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, accept search and rescue. You're the angel I've been praying for. There's a fishing spot on the island nearby. I'm to the shore by a small stretch of land. Uh, it got flooded over with my car still on the far side. Can you get my car back here? Man, I'll try. In the meanwhile, are you on some of this fuel? Let's get... Actually, do we need that much? I don't think we need that much. Let's... 145. That should be enough, to be honest. I don't want to take all the fuel, might as well keep some here unless we actually really need it because I'm pretty sure we will recover after we clear out that uh, bridge. So cargo management, medium pipes, no, cement, small pipes, small pipes is a full load. TF4. Okay then, small pipes it is. Um, hmm. You know, in that case, because we, if we have to do two loads of this, sure, let's unlock that path. Hmm. Well, honestly, if we have to do two loads, might as well get uh, a full, full uh, 200 liters in these tanks. Oh, 
up the max in that case. Guys, do know I will totally lose my shit if uh, if I tip this load. The load has been behaving itself up to this point. I'm not seeing much side tilting. It's pretty flat, which is the thing I'm most worried about. We have like small pipes, medium pipes, and large pipes. I mean, there's still two slot each, and I'm not seeing that certain warehouses have only small pipes or something. And if you do end up with like some only have small, some only have large, and all that, might as well just diversify it, not call them pipes, just have something else. Not like it has much relevance to reality with what you're actually hauling. Oh wow, this is pretty. Hefty. But you know what? Um, even though uh, my loyalty is still to the Fleet Star, the Caterpillar has handled itself quite well. Uh, let's not jinx it, shall we? There we go. Okay, let's deeper check that this is the actual path. Yeah, okay, so we have to take a left here. And then just whatever, head straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, let's not do that. That's bad. Come on, just a little bit of mud. Push through it. A single load of uh, concrete blocks will probably be easier on the hole. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, sweet God. And yeah, I think this is entirely gonna be more of this. Okay, if I go on the other side, would that be any better? I don't think so. Wow, god damn, rocks. Let's take this easy, slowly. Honestly, I'm gonna stick to the low gear specifically. Keep myself uh, from over accelerating. Because again, if I lose, let alone the car, the car I can technically lose, but if I lose the. I'll have to come all the way back here. There's an aggressive turn left. Faster. Mm -hmm. 
Okay then, that's load number one. Um, I think... I think uh, we'll just... Uh, we'll do this whole episode in one go. So... Uh, I'll keep you guys uh, around for another 15-20 minutes. Make this a uh, super special longer episode. Now, I'm not sure I kind of want to go back down here, but this is more or less the shortest route. Which isn't the best thing, I guess. Again, most of this area has been fine, uh, minus that single section bit right after we crossed the river, which uh, tilted me just a bit too much off kilter, but enough for me to uh, soil my plants a little bit. I think it was here, yeah, with these rocks. Better on the return trip, I hope. And honestly, I think I'm gonna remove those fog lights. Those are way too, way too bright. Let's get those concrete blocks. Depending on the rock, some of these large ton trucks would just crush them. Limestone, sandstone would just go right through it. And I don't imagine uh, all of these are hard granite or something. Patch of random concrete in the middle of nowhere. Okay, easy does it. So we only wasted about 60 liters, right? Okay, so we can leave 100 liters in the can and we will be good enough. Let's uh, put some fuel back in the scout fuel carrier. Uh, not that much. Okay, uh, there is no way to make that any straighter, so okay. And I'm left 141, that's fine. Okay, let's get some concrete blocks. Concrete blocks. Okay, not gonna get too low because I, I want to keep this as light as possible. Let's not worry about uh, tipping or something. Let's 
not uh, end up uh, putting the truck over exactly when we're almost done. Let's not make the same mistake I wanted to make last time. for that wood tree. Okay, let's use the side of the truck. There we go. Now let's be a little careful around those rocks around here and are home free. short on folks with trucks big enough to be of much use with things like this. Goodness knows how long it has taken us to get uh, this done on our own. Well, I thank you because... Uh, okay, isn't this now accessible? Uh, come on. Come on, don't get stuck on something. Is it it? Is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay, we have now unlocked White Valley access from Northport. <sighs> this was indeed a trip. Indeed a trip. Let's uh, get back to the garage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's. Uh, Get back to Caterpillar, which will be coming, coming straight to the garage. And let's do a quick checkup. Yes, that is indeed the maximum engine available. Uh, so, perfect. 
Uh, I'll go through my options and I'll brief you guys on the next one because this episode is getting really pretty long at this point. We're almost hitting on 15 minutes. So again, if you liked uh, this uh, content, if you liked this video, please uh, like, give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. Why not? Give me a comment telling me how much you like or dislike these videos. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one.